Hey everybody, this is Jennifer Gonzalez for Cult of Pedagogy. I wanted to share with you a really great career searching tool called the Occupational Outlook Handbook, which is put out by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So I would like to just show you real quickly how to use it. This is fantastic for someone who is really struggling with trying to figure out what they want to do when they graduate from high school, or maybe somebody who's already out of high school and is just at a crossroads in their career. This is a, a really robust tool for learning a lot more about different kinds of jobs, what uh, is required to get those jobs in terms of education and training and uh, salary and growth projection and all kinds of stuff. So if you go to um, www.bls.gov slash OOH, that's for the Occupational Outlook Handbook, you will be taken here. From this page, you can explore a lot of different um, occupations. You could look at arts and design. Once you click on that, you'll be taken to a long list of different uh, jobs. It lists the kind of education that you need. It gives you a summary. Um, from here, you can click into an even more in-depth description. So if we look at floral designers, for example, we get all kinds of information about what uh, floral designers do, their work environment. And if you look at all these different little small bits of text, you can click on each one and go to a more lengthy article. For example, this description of what floral designers do, it gives you lots and lots of information about what the uh, workday is like and the skills that are required. There's also information on how to become one talks about the education and the training and also information on pay. So you really get an in-depth look of what each job uh, looks like. The Occupational Outlook Handbook also has a tool called an Occupation Finder, which I think is especially helpful to people who really just don't have any idea what they want to do. So let's take a look at that. From up here, click on Occupation Finder. So you'll be taken to a long list of all of those different articles that they have that describe each of those jobs. What you can do is start filtering down on this list. So let's suppose you're a high school senior, you're a few weeks away from graduating and you have no idea what you want to do. You really are sort of lost. You're not even sure you want to go to college. So what you can do is start by filtering this list down by, say, say you said, let me see what I can do without getting any college education at all. So you can go right over here under entry level education and you can select just high school diploma or equivalent, no, no college at all. What that does is it filters down the list only to jobs that uh, require just a high school diploma. So you can start exploring those. And it's a pretty good list. You could add another filter. Let's say you wanna see what is going, what's a really growing um, profession that you know there's gonna be lots of new jobs. We could go right here to projected number of new jobs. Let's go to 50,000 or more. Gives you quite a few jobs still with, with no college and there's a, a pretty good um, number of new jobs that are coming. Say you wanna look at salary next. Let's look at between 35 and 54. Once you start filtering down, then you can start exploring each one. And basically clicking on each of these will take you to that same article that describes you know what the job is like. So I'll show you right here bookkeeping, accounting, and auditing clerks. And you get that same article, what they do, what the work environment is, how to become one, the pay. So if you've got someone in your life or if you yourself are uh, wanting to explore careers, consider the Occupational Outlook Handbook put out by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Thank you so much.